What's up everybody, Kenny G here from What Can He Do with something a little different today. That because now all the lawn mowers are starting up. All throughout the neighborhood, lawn mowers, let's start them up. Every time I go to do a video, never fails. So this year, around the time COVID was hitting, Misty B decides she wants to spring for a brand new pool. I've never owned a pool before in my life, so I wasn't really sure how that was gonna work out for me. So I just joined a group on Facebook, above ground swimming pool group. I'll leave the I'll leave the link below and then watch a ton of YouTube videos. But first time pool owner right here. Never had a pool before in life. Kenny G didn't know nothing, still don't know much. Open June first was the day I put it up and it is now about to be September 1st. I believe it's August 30th today. But look, we're gonna do an action shot at the water. And I'm gonna lie, I'm pretty pleased with myself. And there's the air conditioner. Okay, now that lawnmowers are done and the AC is off because the house is adequately cool, let's talk the pool. See what I did there? Oh, look at this little guy. That's the first thing you gotta get used to when you get a pool. Random bugs dropping by for a dip. Dip, baby, dip! Nah, but anyway, this was the 18 foot by 48 inch Coleman pool with the windows. Which Misty heard that they leaked. So she was freaking out about it. And I think they said the first series did. This is the second series. So honestly, we didn't have any problems. No problems with windows leaking. The only problem I have with the windows is it allows people to come down and get a magnified view of your very wrinkled up floor. I did not do a very good job of getting the wrinkles out at all, which just meant I swept them up. I was constantly sweeping dirt, dirt and dervis gets, gets stuck in there. So I didn't get too crazy with the pump setup. Actually, we kept the original pump that came with it. Look at this rain shield aka the table but the original pump that comes with this pool we i ran 24 7 for two months it gave out two months in stopped working got really really loud and then just stopped working so luckily a friend at work had an extra one that's this one here people say you know they're not powerful enough for this size pool which it's really not but you know it didn't do it didn't do a bad job of keeping our pool clean this year I ran it 24 seven of course and burn it out, but the water I did not have a hard time keeping crystal clear this year at all. I don't know if it's beginner's luck. As you can see, I don't have any special kind of hookups. That's just uh, what came with it. Got this electric tape right there to the post. That's the other thing I did, put the post on cement slabs. I didn't see that. Everybody talked about the importance of doing that, so I did do that. Didn't really do too good of a job getting the wrinkles out, as I stated. When you first filling it up, you're supposed to be in there kicking them out, and I did not do a good job of that. Hung these little baskets here. Dollar store baskets with the zip ties. Keep your stuff handy. With the cement slabs, as you can see, I didn't really do too good a job of keeping them level either. This one's kind of sinking in. They actually were better than this. After some rain and the weight of the pool, they start sinking, shifting. But I didn't have problems with my pool this year. And like I said, I don't know if that's beginner's luck or just because I'm ill, you know? I got skills, microphone skills, and above ground swimming pool skills. Talking chemical, we bought some liquid shock for it. Other than that, we put a little clear stuff in it. I'm gonna flash some pictures, so, because honestly, I don't know what I'm talking about. That's that's kind of the point of this video. This, I was new to pool ownership, but it wasn't really that hard. I made it a point to come out and walk around this thing every day, 
Make sure nothing was leaning or breaking or bending or buckling. Make sure uh, nothing was leaking. And I used a skimmer over there. Skim the stuff off the top. Believe it or not, I never vacuumed. I don't have a vacuum. I just got in and spun up all the dirt into the center. The center. There's that AC again. Son of a... Hey, dude. I'm going to help you. Just don't sting me. And I've been helping the insect life out here, too. So, oh, look at Tilly. Tilly, you're silly. So, yeah, in conclusion, it wasn't a bad experience. As, um, I thought it was going to be much worse. As far as the chemical, this was the stuff I was talking about earlier. As far as chemical, I had the duck floating around. This is your duck. These are the little pucks that go inside. And it just floats around. So that, and I had natural clear. This is what I added. When I first filled it, liquid shock, which most places were out of all year, till Walmart got a bunch in. And believe it or not, a shoe shine brush, blah, 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 a shoe shine brush, because I am Dr. Shoe. But that was for the bottom of the pool. Where it creased up and I couldn't get my wrinkles out. I swept it up with this and then skimmed it out of there. Dr. Shoe into skim milk. Just like that. So that's about it. I would, I would recommend getting a pool. Um, definitely want to do it early though. Misty bought uh, back in March, I believe, and it was almost $500. Then COVID started hitting, people buying pools. And so now the same pool that she spent $500 online is $1,500, $1,800, 1900 People are gouging gouging for the pools and the pool supplies that was crazy this year too pool supplies pool chemicals all that kind of hard to find unless you wanted to pay a whole bunch of money so but yeah i wanted to put out this video about how easy it was because i've never had a pool before in my life never knew anything about it but thanks to the group that i belong to on facebook and all the youtube videos i watched there was really nothing to it make sure you do level your ground didn't really get too much into the installation but level your ground make sure you got a nice flat surface i didn't put sand i heard some people use sand some people don't use sand i didn't use sand i just got the ground flat flat as i could and then as you can see my pool wasn't really level it's an inch inch and a half off but it survived biggest thing is it's a little part-time job when you got one going it's a part-time job make sure you take care of it don't just let it go but we did have a pump go out. I mentioned that earlier. And it was out for a whole week. The water didn't really turn. Probably because the AC unit's right there blowing hot air or cold air onto the pool, keeping everything balanced. So I'm gonna wrap up this video. Um, thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. What can he do will be coming soon. Breadstick gotta quit bullshitting, man. Peace. You like how I threw you under the bus, dude.